right now all that we can say is slash n comes in handy when we want to format the output properly on separate lines so slash n, slash n uh, is useful when we uh, want to uh, format output that means we want to go to next line then a slash n is uh, handy or it is useful printf cannot only print values of variables it can also print the result of an expression an expression is nothing but a valid combination of constants variable and operators so printf cannot only print values of variables so we know that uh, that printf is printing value of variable or value of integers etc so it is not like uh, only it will print value of variables it can also print the result of an expression an expression is nothing but a valid combination of statements variables and operators so uh, when we print an expression so uh, it is a valid combination of constants variables and operators so uh, we can say like that uh, uh, first uh, some words so it will be combination of words also then integers also and uh, constants also so and variables also so it is not like that uh, printf function is only printing variables it is also printing uh, other other things and combination of other things also thus 3 comma 3 plus 2 c and a plus b star c minus d are the are all valid expressions the result of these expressions so these are basically expressions so 3 then 3 plus 2 comma c so this is a plus b into c minus d is it's a expression all these valid expressions the result of these expressions can be printed as shown below printf uh, in inverted commas percent d percent d percent d so percent d is for integers so 3 is an integer 3 plus 2 is an integer then uh, c is an integer a plus b uh, star c minus d is an integer note that 3 and c are also represent valid expressions now compilation and execution compilation and execution once you have written the program you need to type it and instruct the machine to execute it so uh, once you have written the program so we write program and you need to type it and instruct the machine to execute it so uh, we are instructing machine also to execute it for that uh, to type your c program you need another software called editor so we write c program and then we uh, turn it into hex file so for turning this program into hex file we need a compiler uh, so uh, the so once you have written the program you need to type it and instruct the machine to execute it so uh, we are instructing machine to execute it by compilation now to type c program you need another software called editor so uh, to for typing c program we need another software called editor so uh, it is used for typing program once program has been typed it need to be converted to machine language zeros and ones before machine can execute it once program has been typed so that means uh, program is now typed and it needs to be converted into machine language that is zeros and ones that is hex code before machine can execute it so before machine can execute it we have to convert this uh, code into zeros and ones so uh, so for that matter compiler is used to carry out this conversion we need another program called compiler compiler vendors provide an integrated development environment ide which consists of an editor as well as compiler so compiler uh, vendor that means uh, there is an ide called integrated development environment for uh, for example the for microcontroller 8051 there is an uh, IDE called KILL MU VISION KILL so uh, we need an IDE so IDE has all of these uh, things called as compiler then uh, uh, it has compiler then uh, for uh, for uh, typing that program editor it has then uh, for run that program it has another software so id that is integrated development environment consists of all these uh, things 